No one likes to look at a bare light bulb. The light is harsh and it hurts your eyes. Almost all lights inside homes and offices have lampshades to cover light bulbs. Although a lampshade is usually seen as a decorative element, its main purpose is to diffuse or redirect the light from the bulb for maximum effectiveness and protect your eyes from the bulb's glare. With no shade at all, a bare bulb's light goes out equally in all directions. Hello, hello, dear viewers. Welcome back to our channel. Today we have brought to you wooden lampshade ideas for your inspiration. This video contains a collection of beautiful wooden lampshade design ideas which you can easily copy and duplicate at your own workshop. You can pick your favorite design and try to make it at home or show it to a local workshop so that they can make one for you. You can even turn these plants or designs into a small scale lucrative business with a small initial investment on basic tools and materials. So we advise you to watch the video until the end and choose an inspiring design for your next project. If you are new to the channel and if you like what you see please consider subscribing to the channel and smash the notification bell so that you will be the first one to be notified when we upload new videos. If you are already a subscribed member please like and share this video so that it could reach a wide range of audiences. A lampshade is a fixture that covers the light bulb on a lamp to diffuse the light it emits. Lampshades can be made out of a wide variety of materials like wood, paper, glass, fabric or even a stone. Usually conical or cylindrical in shape, lampshades can be found on floor, desk, tabletop or suspended lamps. The term can also apply to the glass hung under many designs of ceiling lamp. Beyond its practical purpose, significant emphasis is also usually given to decorative and aesthetic features. A lampshade also serves to shade human eyes from the direct glare of the light bulbs used to illuminate the lamp. Some lamps, lampshades are also lined with a hard-backed opaque lining often white or gold, to reflect as much light as possible through the top and bottom of the shade while blocking light from emitting through the walls of the side itself. In other cases, the shade material is deliberately decorative so that upon illumination it may emphasize a display of color and light emitting through the shade surface itself. When you look at the history of lampshades, it all started in the late 17th century in Paris, when the first public lanterns made their appearance in the center of the streets. They lit the road during the night. In 1763, the reverbers made their appearance. These were oil lamps with reflectors, which were hung above the center of the streets. The first public oil lamps in Milan, financed by revenues from a lottery dated from 1785. These were lanterns containing an oil lamp with a number of wicks. A semi-spherical reflector above the flame projected the light downwards, while another reflector slightly concave and near the flame served to direct the light laterally. Frederick Albert Windsor first had the idea of industrializing lighting by producing gas in a factory and distributing it through a pipeline. In the first decades of the 19th century, 
Competing gas companies laid the first gas mains in major cities, but there were fears of explosion and toxicity. The flame fed by the gas coming up out of the nozzle was intense, uniform and adjustable, white and brilliant instead of the reddish or orange of oil lamps or candles. The drawbacks of gas lighting were overheating of the air and extremely high oxygen consumption, making it necessary to ventilate the room or isolate the flame by separating the room where the combustion took place from the room being lit. Theater audiences regularly suffered from headaches and the sulfur and ammonia formed during combustion of the gas ruined furniture. Gas light had to be filtered by opal glasses or light fabric shades. Lamp shades were no longer used to direct the light but to attenuate it. In 1878, Joseph Swan and Thomas Edison independently developed combining and perfecting existing elements driving from the research of Humphrey Davy Demolane and Gobble, the incandescent filament electric light bulb. To disguise the intense electric light, lampshades were used. Some were made by Tiffany in colored glass. The great advantage of the electric light bulb was the absence of flame and traces of combustion, thus avoiding all risks of intoxication, explosion, or fire. In the beginning, the filament was made of carbonized vegetable fibers, then bamboo fibers, and finally metal alloys, until in the early 20th century the tungsten filament inven invented in 1904 became established. Modern lampshades can be classified by shape, by material, or by function. Lampshades are classified in four basic shapes, drum, empire, bell, or coulee, depending on their shape. A drum or cylinder shape typically features vertical sides sometimes with a very slight incline where the top of the shade is slightly smaller than the bottom. A slightly greater incline produces a flow shade which is not far from the true drum profile. As the slope of the side of the shade increases, the design moves through the classic empire shade or variation with a straight or bell curved sides. On to order the more pyramidical style shaped of a coolie shade. Beyond the basics, lampshade shapes also include square, cut corner, hexagon, gallery, oval, or scallop shapes. Square, rectangular, and oval shape shades appear to have these shapes when viewed from above or below. This is also this also includes hexagonal shades and cut cornered shades with up, which appear like square or round shades with the corner cut off or indented. A shade with a gallery can be of any shape but has a distinct strip around the bottom of the shade. Some of the lamp shades are as follows rustic Simple elements like linen, cork, and cotton in muted earth tones complement rustic farmhouse or cottage interiors. Traditional, often linen, paper shades, and silk shades in inside plated and box plated shapes. Modern, innovative shapes like drum, 
square and cylinder, antique and vintage inspired. Antique reproduction lampshades demonstrate even past era often in textures like glass, fringe and beaded and are not generally found in current designs. Outdoor lights don't usually use lampshades, instead they use shields. A shielded light simply means no light shines above the horizontal from any part of the fixture. It has a solid barrier or cap as the top of the fixture where the light is located and a solid barrier around the light where the light source is not visible below the barrier. Shielding is used to block the lamp's light from traveling upward causing the sky, sky glow and light pollution or sideways and off your property possibly blinding your neighbors also known as light trespass. When using a shielded light, the majority of the light is directed downwards and out at an angle permitting light to flow over a large area by ensuring that all your fixtures direct their light onto the ground and instead up in the sky and into neighbor's yards, you can get the light you need without all the negative repercussions. Not only will shielded light fixtures protect night skies, they will save energy, reduce your electricity bill and lower your carbon footprint. Lampshades could be made of fabric, parchment, glass, Tiffany glass, paper, plastic, wood, and so on. Common fabric materials include silk, linen, and cotton. Fabric shades are reinforced by metal frames to give the lampshade their shape, while paper or plastic shades can hold their shape without support. For this reason, paper shades can be more fragile than fabric shades. Darker shades sometimes add a reflective liner such as gold or silver in order to maximize light output. A new trend in the market is the use of wooden lampshades, which is the focus of this video. Most of the time, wooden lampshades are almost entirely made of wood cut into different sizes and shaped into different shapes. They are designed to fit their purpose and their proposed location. They could be made from solid wood or from bent laminates. So you can see in the video there are limitless possibilities and design options. A lampshade surface have varying proximity to the bulb light, so light bulb or light source itself, depending on the size and shape of the shade. With larger shades, this is less of a problem, since the shade provides an ample funnel for the movement of air up through the shade whereby the heat from the bulb leaves the top, the the top of the shade through the opening. 
However, with smaller ships, consideration had to be as to be given to proximity of the shed surface to the bulk, especially in miniature sheds. Here, and especially with sheds which have slope, slope sides, the distance between the surface and the bulk reduces, making the risk of overheating a concern. The heat generated by incandescent light bulbs can scorch fabric lampshades, can crack glass sheds, and wooden lampshades could also be warped as they dry out if care is not taken. All of these problems can be avoided by a simple expedient of installing LED lights. These save energy, last longer, and emit very little heat. The commonly used wooden lampshade construction methods include bent lamination of thin veneer layers and assembly of thin slots or shaped shape wood pieces, all of which could be varied by size, sh shape, wood type, and so on. With such a variety of options, there are no limits to wooden lampshade design ideas. They could be made budget-friendly or highly expensive based on the designs and the materials used. As you can see in the video, we have compiled a number of interesting wooden lampshade design ideas for your own inspiration. Which design is your favorite and why? Let us know in the comments section. By now you know that our channel is full of inspiring videos which contain easy to follow furniture design projects. If you like such content, please consider subscribing to our channel if you haven't already and also smash that notification bell so that you'll be the first one to be notified when we upload new videos. Thank you for watching until the end. We look forward to seeing you in our next video. Until then, stay safe and stay blessed.